Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I have changed up the setup a little bit. You have a different view behind you and probably a better view. I feel like this camera angle is a lot better. I'm a bit further away from the screen. You're not literally right in front of my face. Uh, you can pretty much see me a lot better, see everything around me. And the lighting is a lot better as well because there's a window just behind me here. So it gives a really good natural light. And that's close to the mic. So sometimes the mic can be a little bit crackly because I'm so close. So hopefully that is improved and you do like that a bit more. But anyway, before we do get into what today's video is about, make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button, hitting an early like. It does mean a lot to me. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. But anyway, in today's video, we have some pretty exciting news. And I might be a little bit late to the party on this. You might have already heard about this if you're on Twitter or whatever and seen Charlie Intel or any other YouTuber covering it. But essentially, the news we have been given, there is some new mastery titles and emblems coming to the game. I will try and put them up on screen. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do copyright things, but if not, I'll leave a link in the description to the Charlie Intel like blog page, uh, like post about it. Uh, pretty much, they look pretty insane and what they are is for certain weapons, let's use the M4A1 for example. You'll have an M4A1 gold title and emblem. You will have a M4A1 platinum emblem, platinum title, and you'll have a Damascus emblem and a Damascus title as well. And I think there is an obsidian one as well, title and emblem as well. So there's four different ones to get, like four different emblems, four different titles for each weapon in the game. And I'm not entirely sure how they will work. I'm not entirely sure how you'll unlock these things. The only thing I can presume is it's going to be a similar basis to how the mastery title and emblems were from Modern Warfare 2. I know this is going a long way back and some of you might not even play Modern Warfare 2. But if you did, you'll more than likely know how you unlocked them. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be similar in terms of the challenges for them. I mean, it could be a thing of like, where if you get gold camo for that gun, you unlock the title and emblem. If you get platinum camo for it, you unlock the title and emblem. If you unlock Damascus, you unlock the title and emblem and so on for Obsidian. But to be honest, I can't see them doing this at all. The simple fact is, obviously I already have Damascus, uh, so would that mean I unlock Damascus emblems and titles for every single weapon in the game straight, for, straight away? Pretty much gives me and a lot of other people who have Damascus nothing to grind for apart from the Obsidian ones, because obviously I get all the gold, all the platinum, all the Damascus. So I can't actually see this being a thing that they're going to do. I think it's going to work in terms of headshots, because if, if I have got it up on the screen, I'll try and pop it up right now you will see that it has a headshot little icon on it, well a skull basically, so in terms of you know, meaning that it's got to be a headshot thing, so it could be like for the gold one uh, you have to get, I don't know, let's say 100, no, let's say 250 headshots and then for the platinum it's 500, for the Damascus it's 1000 or obsidian it's 1500, it could be similar like that, I think in Modern Warfare 2 the mastery headshot one was um, it might have been a thousand headshots, I think it was, but there was also ones for kills as well. So if you got, I think it was 500 kills of a weapon, you also got another title for, let's say the UMP45, you got 500 kills, you would get a UMP45 title and it was just grey, it just, it just said UMP45 and I remember unlocking this one uh, way back in the day. But that could be like the gold one is like get a certain amount of kills and I think the Damascus one would be like a thousand headshots, something crazy like that basically gives something else to grind for. That's what I hope it is. I hope it's not in terms of getting just unlocking camos because it would literally be so, so annoying. And if it was in terms of when they brought out the nuke calling card, I actually had a nuke before the nuke calling card was released, but that didn't, that didn't give me the nuke calling card even though I'd already got a nuke. I had to go and get another nuke to get that. And if it would, I doubt it would. If I already have Damascus, does that mean I will not unlock them? Like that That was the set, like the same as the nuke calling card. If that is the case, then that's going to be super annoying, and that's why I don't believe it would be camo orientated for these titles and emblems. I really do hope that they are headshot orientated or kill into orientated, you know. I, I think that's how it's going to be, because it would literally give me something else to grind for, because right now I have Damascus, I have all the mastery challenges, and this isn't me showing off or anything, this is literally just me saying I have nothing to grind for in this game at the minute. Literally nothing. Yeah, I have the obsidian camos, but I mean, there's no really even real point going for the obsidian camos. I think they look awful, and it is a grind doing that for different guns that I just don't really like. Yeah, I do use different guns all the time for the best class of videos, but in terms of using them guns for, I don't know, let's say the M13 class I put it yesterday, I like the M13, I enjoy using the M13, but getting 15 kills in 200 different games is just something I don't want to do. It's going to be super annoying, whereas if these camos, and well not camos, these titles and emblems come out and let's say it's a thousand headshots, I want to get a thousand headshots with my MP5 just because I love the MP5, I'll do it with the M4A1, I love using the M4A1 as well. 
it would be super, super good. And it, unlocking them for a sniper as well, because remember you see a lot of people rocking the gold skull Thailand emblem with the intervention back in Modern Warfare 2 to, sh to show off how good of a sniper they actually were. And it really is going to be a statement of how good you really are with that weapon. I know Obsidian Camo was meant to be, you know, it's going to. Obsidian Camo was meant for people to show off that it's their favourite gun. They love using that gun and they're good with that gun. But in my eyes, 15 kills and 150 games for example for the mp5 like i did unlock it doesn't really show you good with the mp5 i don't think personally it just means you use it a lot you know whereas if you have the titan emblem for 1000 headshots for the mp5 it's going to be like wow this kid proper uses the mp5 you know it's going to be decent with the mp5 to get 1000 headshots because 1000 headshots is i don't know how many kills you need to get a thousand headshots a hell of a lot I think personally, if I was going to go for them, I would go. For, I would hop into a game of hardcore and literally just grind headshots, where you can get like 20 headshots a game. Like, I think that's something I would do. Like, you know, when you used to go for Dark Matter back in Black Ops 3, I would hop into hardcore free for it and literally just ping heads all day. And you'd get the camo so quickly in that game. And I love going for Damascus and stuff in them games. Not like Damascus, Dark Matter. Um, it made it such a more fun grind in my opinion just because the gun didn't take as long you could pretty much get one or two two three maybe maybe three guns a day uh, doing this and I think it was such a more enjoyable experience than Damascus in my eyes I think Damascus is such a painful and boring grind in my opinion there's so many weapons in this game and I take my heart off to anybody who's going for the grind I know my friend Mozzie's going for the uh, uh, Damascus camo grind and I mean, geez, it's so, so painful, it's just none of it is enjoyable whatsoever, in, in my opinion. I mean, you might disagree if you're grinding for Damascus or you've got Damascus, you might have really enjoyed it. But when you see that Damascus camo pop up at the end of the grind, you just think, thank God, I can finally use the gun I want to use. I mean, I think Mozzie was using the car in his last video and like, I like the car sniping, but going full of challenges with that thing is just a absolute pain in the arse. The Dragonov is disgusting, it's horrible, but we're not here to talk about Damascus anyway, I think going for these tiles and emblems will be really, really enjoyable because you'll be using your favourite gun all the time and it gives you more purpose to use it instead of just enjoying that gun. You can enjoy the gun and be like, oh my god, I can't wait to actually unlock that tile, that emblem, it's going to be super sick. Uh, show it off, I can't wait. Another annoying thing as well, if you did, if you've been watching the gameplay in the background instead of, you know, obviously I presume you're focusing on what I'm saying, but if you've been watching the gameplay in the background, super annoying how I got in this bunker and managed to pick up that secret MP7 then, and I didn't unlock it. I was so, so gutted. I was literally hoping for the rest of this game, like maybe it just didn't pop up, but I didn't actually unlock it, which is annoying. I'm still trying to get into this bunker, but it's super annoying because the way I got into this bunker, so many people do it. They literally just camp around the bunker, especially in that fire station and up on the hills behind it. And it's so difficult. I mean, there's so many people trying to get in this bunker right now. And this is the gameplay I was talking about. I was going to just do a separate video on this and give you a live com of it, but I didn't really want to. I think it's not worthy of a live com, to be fair. That's why I'm doing it over. I'm talking about this over it because I wanted to bring you this news. But in other news as well, if you did watch my live event in Warzone game play, I did talk about the leaked info we got and we have a new trailer coming for, we had a trailer release for the new map and stuff, we didn't actually get to see the new map, but we are having Captain Price as an operator added back into the game, and in all fairness in that video I said I didn't care, I couldn't be bought, I, did, I just didn't care about the operators, but you know, I was annoyed that day, I was, uh, I take that back, uh, I am looking really forward to having Captain Price as an operator, you know, it's iconic, I mean I've been rocking the Ghost one ever since the Modern Warfare 2 remaster came out, you know, you got like a pretty iconic Ghost one, I know you can buy like the original ghost skin but if you had the modern warfare 2 remastered you also got a pretty iconic one as well i think if you remember the mission the only day was yesterday i think it was called this is i don't even know how i remember this but it's just stuck in my memory he was in a boat in the rain and ghost was in like a wetsuit type uh, thing that's the skin you get for the modern warfare 2 uh, buying the modern warfare 2 remaster so if you have got that skin and you're just wondering where it's from i do believe it's actually from that mission so pretty pretty cool so I think having a, a Captain Price skin would be pretty cool and I want it to be a retro one. I don't want the Captain Price from this game, I want the Captain Price from Modern Warfare 2 or the original Modern Warfare, you know, or even Modern Warfare 3. That would be super, super sick. But we also have a live event coming as well uh, towards the end of this season, which is going to be amazing. So similar to how Fortnite do it, when it's towards the end of the season in Fortnite they have a live event. Looks like we're going to be getting that in Warzone as well, so I'm really, really happy about that. And I can't wait to actually cover a live event and know there's going to be a live event instead of sitting around all day waiting for a live event. Super annoying. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think of the new mastery camos and emblems. 
camos, tiles and emblems keep hitting camos because they're camo themed. I think it's a super sick idea and I don't know when they're going to be released. It'll probably be the start of season 4 or the next big update we get. So it's going to be super amazing. Can't wait for them. I'll be sure to bring you content on them as soon as they do drop. And when they do drop, I'll be grinding them. I'll be grinding them to unlock them as soon as possible. They master camo and just bring that content. So I'm super hyped for another grind. Hopefully you guys are too. Let me know what you think of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new around here, make sure you do smash that subscribe button. Make sure you are dropping a like if you do enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one.